you shouldn't believe everything you read online. The internet is a hellhole of misinformation. Hello, people, and welcome back to the Salem Intruder, where today we are beginning with poop or scoop. First up, the new police girl. Why is she here? There are a lot of rumors going around about new police girl, that her plastic surgeon dad probably fixed her face, that she shot a man for having tattoos, that she wears entirely too much blue, but none of those rumors are true. However, what is true is that she will be sticking around and helping Rafe with all the police workload. Next up, Jake and Ava are engaged, and then Jake got shot and killed. This is the scoop. I personally thought that Jake and Ava getting engaged that rushed was trash, and then Jake got shot and killed, and I was like, oh, that makes a little more sense. Third up, Ben is back? Who is this? This, is, this looks a lot like Ben. Which brings us to today's topic. Ben is back, and we're supposed to think that he's Alex Kiriakis, air quotes, but he's quite obviously Ben. Thanks to the IFD, in other words, Intruder Face Database, a new piece of technology invented by me, the IFD has flagged Alex Kiriakis as an imposter who just happens to be the same age as Ben. Suspicious. Anyway, between the IFD and the cringe meter the intruder is now the most technologically proficient in soap opera reporting today. We're moving up in the world. Before we go any further, it's Queen Bee time. This episode's Queen Bee goes to Jada Hunter, the new SPD recruit who got down to business and shot that guy who killed Jake. Good job, new police girl. This episode, I'm introducing a new segment entitled Ship It. Shipping Alex with people to determine who his next girlfriend will be. First up in our ships, Alex and new police girl, whose actual name is Jada Hunter, but I keep calling her new police girl because it's much more fun. Now, shipping these two new characters together would be a bit risky. They could win the award for most boring couple ever. Also, I do not enjoy how they're putting Jada with Eric. I find that to be very weird because he could be her great uncle. Next up, Alex and Gwen. What I notice about Alex's character is he's essentially Xander, except all the character development is reversed. So it's like back to the beginning with who Xander used to be. So what I'm thinking is if Gwen is needing a Xander, and here is Xander with a better face, then they should just be together. Because, you know, Alex is kind of still, you know, Xander, and then Gwen is wanting to get back together with Xander. So if you put them together, that fixes all their problems, and then they can just, you know, leave, because I hate them. Next up, Alex and Allie. I always thought that Allie and Ben had some good romantic potential, but Sierra got back before Carlovati could decide to experiment with that. And here we are. And this new Ben is being presented to us, who is not Ben and is Alex. So it makes perfect sense, because when Allie doesn't get chosen in her current love triangle with Chanel, she can just trade up to Alex instead. Last, but certainly not least, Alex and Claire. Now here's what's gonna happen, guys. Switch to Claire is getting resurrected from the dead, because here we are, and Ben's back, but he's supposedly a different person, air quotes. So now we can have our Ben and Claire just a little bit different. So here's what's going to happen. Claire's going to come back to Salem with Theo. They're going to be together. And it's going to be a rehash of that plot where Ben stole Sierra from Theo. Except Ben, who is now Alex, is going to steal Claire from Theo. So for those of us keeping score, that's Ben with two and Theo with zero. And here we have our new dump Theo graphic. And here are Claire and Alex receiving a call from their genetic counselor telling them that they are second cousins twice removed. So, um, <laughs> that second cousins twice removed is legal, I think. It's, it'll be fine. That's not incest. As previously mentioned, we've lost one of our own this week, Jake DeMera. And we all know that the best way to air our grievances is through a strongly word letter. Without further ado, it's time for Thanks, Carlovati. Thank you, Carlovati. Actually, scratch that. I have nothing to thank you for this episode. You have disrespected Jake in an unforgivable way. You forced him into a cheap engagement and then proceeded to have him get killed by a low-budget extra. This is the second time you've made this mistake. Let's not forget the time when you killed off Stefan Demera, betraying legions of his loyal fans, and then brought Jake in to replace him as a cheap copy. Now that you've killed off Jake, 
What is your plan? Are you going to reveal that Jake and Stefan have another brother and they're triplets? Please, spare me the nonsense. I've grown tired of your ridiculous and completely avoidable booking mistakes. I could do a better job of writing this show than you. Sincerely, your worst enemy, The Intruder. Thanks for watching The Intruder. Follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and see you next time.